Welcome to Growth TV. I'm Carolyn Vallejo, here today with Nancy Giordano. She is strategic futurist and founder of Play Big Inc., as well as the keynote speaker for this year's DealMax. Nancy, let's first talk about some of the macro trends that you are going to be seeing in the middle market business ecosystem that will be shaping companies, you know, this year and next year. You know, I mean, I just, I think of these as forces, right? We are thinking about the future. We're on the precipice of something that we think is quite revolutionary, right? This inflection point that we keep talking about in 2023, heading into 2024. And so the question is, what is what is shaping that? And so I see these multiple forces, certainly digital and economic transformation, which we're clearly in every single day when we read a headline, um, but it's not the only force, right? We're also thinking again about planetary stability and ecological well-being and thinking about overall how we navigate our resources more effectively. We're thinking about how to address and redress systemic bias and not pull that into this new world that we get to go build and to create and by changing the patterns and hopefully unweaving some of those uh, stories from the past. Um, and we're thinking a lot more about well-being and reskilling at a very macro level, not just on the individual level, but again, as a society. Um, and the one that I think that we probably don't spend as much time thinking about, but I think is really important is this youth quake. When you imagine how large the global population is of folks under 25 and how they look at the world, they're really going to have a very profound impact on what it looks like in the very, very near future. So I think when you take all those things together, it starts to point us in pretty clear ter- uh, trajectories or uh, clear terrain of where it is that we can have for a really tremendous value. Mm-hmm. Okay, so there is that younger generation and a lot of those a lot of those younger individuals are becoming business leaders. There's a lot of big changes in the ecosystem right now. So what are some of the skills that, that business leaders of any age need to develop in response to some of these shifts that you just mentioned? You know, I think of it, and again, I'm always about words, right, and change of vocabulary, but I think it's, it's skills, but merely capacities. What are ways that we think differently moving forward? So it's less about knowing something and getting the next chapter of the playbook or the updated version of the playbook and getting those new skills and really thinking about how do we wholesale change the way we think out of an industrial era way of being focused on efficiency and being focused on silos and being focused on, you know, driving relentless growth and doing it all alone and autonomously. Like these are all outdated ways of approaching it. And if we can think about it actually in very different ways and cultivate curiosity, but not just individually, like inside an organization or even inside our societies, right? When we can really think about how we build in more collaborative ways and what are the systems that allow us to do that, the new technologies that will allow us to do that. When we think about it in terms of how we can really contribute and not just extract with every single decision we make around the businesses that we invest in and that we build, like these are the kinds of capacities that really open up, I think, tremendous opportunity we move forward. So I think, again, the tension that people are having right now and the exhaustion that they're having is that we have this outdated sort of set of rules of how we're supposed to show up and we're building a whole new world and those two things aren't fitting. And so if we can open up to this new way, I think, again, it presents tremendous opportunity for all of us as we move ahead. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And these are some really big ideas. We're so excited to learn more from you at DealMax this year. I'm so excited to be with you all. It's been a great conversation. Thank you. Thanks, Nancy.